Now we move on to a Churchland Phoebus matchup that had all the makings in the beginning. Churchland coming in number 10 ranked in Southampton Roads and a rude introduction by Daquan Romero as quarterback Wolante Roscoe has the ball discharged from him and the number six ranked Phantoms in the country are off and running. With a team like Phoebus Chris, you're talking about a team that's lost so many great players over the last few years, two state championship teams, but great teams continue to reload, and that's what this team does on both sides of the ball. Tyree Lee, the 28-yard touchdown run. Cedric Cradle trying to get his son into the action, takes the pitch there, but the offense for the Truckers will be moving backward for the majority of the night. That time, the pass gone backwards, a lateral, and then a drop pass intended for Jarrell Young, incomplete for the Truckers which would lead to this 37-yard field goal by quarterback slash kicker Eric Anderson and the Phantoms with a 10-0 advantage. A lot of question marks this year for Phoebus Chris. As you mentioned, the kicker now quarterback and Anderson has to step up and help lead this team to another state championship. But when you've got a running back like this, you've got some help behind you. Tyree Lee would be all that the Phantoms would need on this evening. Another touchdown run for him, a two-yard drop, 16 carries, 157 yards, three touchdowns for the diminutive leap. And the score now 17-0, the Truckers trailing by a handful. Sometimes when you're playing a team as good as Phoebus Chris, it just seems like everything is going wrong and it's that quicksand effect. Churchland trying to get some offense going here, but just unable to get it really moving here. Wilton Roscoe looking downfield, has a receiver and the pass is off the hands of Darrell Young, who had a shot at it inside the Phoebus five yard line. And the offense for the Truckers, this time a pitch to Robbins. Breaks one tackle, gets inside the 20, but the Truckers would have to settle for an attempted field goal attempt. Laces weren't out there, and you see the ball slicing away to the left, and it's no good. The Truckers, with their best opportunity to put points on the board, come up empty. And when you've got those opportunities, Chris, against a good team like Phoebus, you've got to take advantage of them because you know a team like that is going to take their shots, already up 17 here, and you see the penalty now coming against the Truckers. Pass interference by the Truckers, which would lead to this, an eight-yard scoring strike from Anderson to Breon Key, a star in the basketball court, leaps up high for that one, and it's now 24 to nothing late in the second half, the he, second quarter. He may be the kicker, Chris, but that was a pretty ball to Key in the end zone. And any hopes of a Trucker comeback were dashed on the opening kickoff of the second half. Tyree Lee bumbles the, the, the kick, but picks it up and romps 87 yards for a touchdown going in untouched just 15 seconds into the second half. Tough break for there for the Truckers, losing sight of the ball as there was trouble uh, bringing in the kick, but a great use of the blockers and a big return there to get the momentum going in that second half. And now we see the differences between the two teams as Phoebus returning the kickoff for a touchdown. The Truckers having an opportunity to pick up the football and they lose it inside the five yard line. The Phantoms fall on top of it. All three phases of the game working in harmony for Phoebus. And now the handoff goes to Tyree Lee. He plunges ahead two yards out. It's a touchdown for him. And the final score, a route for Phoebus, 45 to nothing. The Churchland Truckers lose on their home field as Phoebus remains undefeated here in the 757. Tyree Lee, 16 carries, as we mentioned, three touchdowns. Wolante Roscoe, a rough day at the office, six out of 17 for 71 yards. And as we take a look around the rest of the Peninsula District, you see Went Wilson on top of Minchville, 21-19. Clifton Richardson, 238 yards rushing and a TD and a losing effort. Norcom, 52-0 over Heritage. Chevelle Atkins, four carries, 88 yards and a touchdown there. Booker T. Washington on top of Warwick in this matchup. The Bookers 40-26 with quarterback Demetrius March 281 yards and two touchdowns. And finally, the Crabbers, Blank Gloucester 49-0. Dave Watford 200 passing yards, two Ds as well as two rushing. Now we take a look at the Bay Rivers. It's Grafton all over Surrey County 42-14. Joe Sibrin 6-8, 102 passing yards and two touchdowns. And Warhill defeats Windsor 45-20 as 100 yards passing and two touchdowns for Sean Simgross. More scores now, Lafayette over Brunswick, 28 to 20. William Capers, a big day for him, 25 carries, 123 yards and a touchdown. And a 20 point victory for King William over New Kent with Dee Temple leading the way with 68 yards rushing and two touchdowns. And one final score from the Bay Rivers, Jamestown with a three point victory over John Marshall, 21 to 18. Alex Pecks with 100 yards rushing and two touchdowns.